Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, episode number 482. Why do you need supplements when you eat a good diet? BioBalance Health features conversations about anti-aging medicine. Your hosts are Dr. Kathy Maupin, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging, and Brett Newcomb, a licensed professional counselor. Dr. Maupin and Brett are the authors of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone, the newly released book for men that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of T replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Moffin's office at BioBalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Moffin's office is currently accepting new patients. So this is a conversation that you and I have on a regular basis because you are the supplement queen. You're always pushing supplements for this, that, and the other. Because I've seen and you I, eat. I have a, <laughs> oh, that hurt. That hurt. But I have a mental block on that. I have a, a real resistance, and I know it's my ignorance, and I'm trying to overcome it. But the taking thing, taking medicines, taking supplements, and to me, a supplement's a medicine. I know it's not a prescription. Supplements but, are foods. Well, but it supplements the nutritional component mm-hmm. that's not in the food anymore mm-hmm. or that's not enough anymore for where or how we live. Right. So that's why it's called mm-hmm. a supplement. Mm-hmm. Eat the food and add, put in the additives. Right. But it's a pain in the took us because you have to have all these things and they come in bottles and you put them in a pill dispenser and you put them bottom. And then you just throw them in your mouth every day. Oh, so you only have to think about it once. T- I don't think they taste good. They taste Well, you don't have to medicine-y. taste them. You just take a big gulp of water and swallow it. I'm them. like my dog. I don't ever taste anything that I don't <laughs> smell it first. You, know, you can't give the dog something to eat that he doesn't smell it first. Yeah. I'm the same way. Okay, so, well, you have to hold your nose because these are things that are absolutely necessary for your diet. And and as we get older, we need more of these to actually stay healthy. I And I, and I do appreciate it. And I know that your concerns are well-placed. <laughs> I just resist it. I'm trying not to. But... Help me explain, help me understand why it matters. Okay. Well, supplement, just to define them, supplements are, they can be enzymes that you need to process your foods and they come in a, or an oral form. They may be, um, they may be minerals, mineral, you need minerals for your whole body to work for your muscles. You need magnesium, calcium, you need selenium, you need trace minerals or your body doesn't work well, your hair doesn't grow, your nails don't. I mean, you need to have all of these little tiny little minerals right. for you to, to live. Then you need vitamins. And what vitamins do is they actually work as um, enzymes almost in terms of chemical reactions. There's billions of chemical reactions going on in your body every day, all day long. And you need to have these little activators. So you can eat the right food, but if you don't have that vitamin... You can't process it. So it's just going to go out with the poop. It's not going to stay. Your your food nutrition that you think you're eating, if you don't have the enzyme, isn't going to give you anything. So your daughter, who is also a physician, Mm -hmm. and I were having a conversation, Mm -hmm. and she was explaining something, or, or there was a conversation going on about multiple vitamins. Yes. And she said, it's the most expensive urine that you can make because it just goes right through your body and right out. At least the ones we were talking about. The ones we were talking about because we screen the multiple vitamins. We use a multiple vitamin that is really excellent. And it. what she meant was if you don't need that vitamin, then you'll pee it out. Okay. So. Well, I think that was the conversation. She was explaining why at your office you order specific multiple vitamins. Uh, and and that was the argument. People mm-hmm. people get marketed and advertised for these little kids chewable multiple vitamins, right. most of which don't really accomplish anything. Right. Uh, but there are some chewable multiple uh, vitamins that are really good, like Smarty Pants. That line of multiple vitamins are great, except they have a lot of sugar in them. So we don't. That's a problem. You right. don't want to have a lot of sugar with the vitamins. If they're that chewable, you chew. they want to taste better. Right. Sugar. Yeah. We need one that has Truvia in it. Or, okay. In any case. She meant that you can't, in vitamins that are water-soluble, like B, C, um, I guess the, the other ones that are coming to mind aren't water-soluble. Those are, the, those are two that come to mind that are water-soluble. If you take too much of it, it goes out in your urine, so it doesn't matter. You don't have to 
you don't have to decrease you don't have to decrease your dose. Now, D, A, and E are all are all fat soluble. They should be taken with a fat and with food, and you can't take too much. So five is not better than one or two. Like E, you shouldn't take more than 800 a day. A, you shouldn't take more than milligrams. A is international units. You shouldn't take more than 25,000. That's, you know, and then um, D, D, eh, you can take, it depends on how you absorb D. Some people can take 10,000 a day. Some people can't take more than three. You have to have your D level uh, looked at every once in a while when you're on vitamin D. So... Obviously, I'm susceptible to marketing, and I watch. Oh, every one is. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think so. And and they mm-hmm. say, well, for vitamin D, for, you know, sunshine, drink orange juice or drink citrus juices. Yeah, but is that a good source of vitamin D? Or do you- yeah, I mean, I kind of like vitamin vitamin C. That's what you're talking about, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. You vitamin tell me. C. Vitamin C is in orange juice and citrus juices. Okay. So yes, you can drink it, but then you're getting a ton of sugar. Yes. So it's an offset. So it's an offset. So you like the purified, rarefied ones? Well, juices, you should have a little bit of juice, but that little bit of juice at the most is a lot of sugar. Is, is a lot yeah. of sugar and it's not enough C. So oh, okay. when you're, and C is something that if you're getting sick, you should take that. And there's an herb called echinacea, echinacea that will help your immune system. You should take that. You know, there are certain things for certain people or certain circumstances, like if you're getting ill, C and echinacea are the combination that we take at our house. Huh. Um, I know. And colostrum. We have an immune immune chews, and they're made of cow colostrum, and they have all of these great immune complexes in them, and they help you fight viruses. So you never see a cow with a fever? Well, you do, but they're treated. <laughs> in any case, that these are all of the... Things that you need in your diet, but we don't get them all in our diet, and we have certain certain circumstances where we need more. So um, th- many of these are building blocks for what our brain and our body. So supplements is necessary in the modern world because our food is not as good as it used to be. An apple isn't like the apple in 1950. Most meals aren't made at home, right? So we don't have we don't have fresh food, natural food. The lettuce that you get instead of being Kale or spinach is like this iceberg white stuff that doesn't have a lot of, of quality to it mm-hmm. or nutrition uh, or vitamins. What's well, like the difference between a homegrown tomato and a tomato that you buy at the grocery store? Pale. That they've shipped in from, you know, a thousand miles away. Yeah, the problem with the shipping is that shipping, they have to they have to pick them when they're not ripe. And ripening gives you the vitamins. Right. So Ripening on the vine. On vine the vine. Ripening. And if you pull them, then they don't put the vitamins, they don't right. get them in. Yeah, we always feel better when we eat our own tomatoes in the summer. That's all we right. grow, but because the squirrels take everything else. So we've got, we've got the tomatoes. It always tastes better. We always feel better when we eat they those. They absolutely do. And, and people complain about it. I, I hear ordinary people like me talk about it all the time. Tomatoes are not good anywhere anymore. No, and not unless you grow the, them. But, but the problem is they're picking them weeks ahead of time and shipping them and letting them color. Uh, or they spray them. While they're being, or they paint them. <laughs> uh, yeah, while well, they're being transported. Mm-hmm. And, and so, so you're not getting the vitamins out of that tomato that you used to. Right. So so those are those are things that are really important to our bodies. We weren't really meant to be in a world where we're eating food that hasn't been ripened. So, so the nutritional value of the food that we eat has changed. Yes. What about the n- nutritional guidelines that the government has put out? Because you see it like on any pr- product you get or package, you look and it'll, it'll say RDA XXX. So what is RDA's recommended yeah. daily allowance? And mm-hmm. So that's the federal guidelines. It's a misnomer. Okay. It is the lowest amount of that vitamin that you need to stay alive. Now to that sustain does, life. To sustain life. Huh. That's not how I understood it. I know it isn't. I thought and it was that's the, not how. This is how much you need. This no, is the, it's the lowest amount for you. So the government's looking at how do we get people to have enough to stay alive. They're not yet looking at quality of life. And they don't realize how much that changes what medical care costs but, but in people, the future. People are so different. How do you set an average? I mean, you said that the, the research on, on the RDAs mm-hmm. is based on a 170-pound man as average. Right. Well, I, went, no, I don't I know 190 any 190 pounds. I don't know any 170-pound men. I, I don't either. But, but 
<laughs> Maybe my you son, who's twenty four, I think weighs like one hundred and sixty pounds. Whoa! But he's skinny as a rail and and young. Right. So, but but that's what they're based on. They're not based <coughs> on women. They're not based on you know. They're not based on women. They uh, don't. They're not based on women. That's amazing. The, everything is in governmental is based on men because they're easier to study and of course, it, sex doesn't matter, which it does. Right. You know. So so I have to look at that and think. This is and these were set a long time ago. In general, they're not changed often. So they were set when food was more nutrition more nutritionally active. So. The other thing is, most of my patients are on several medications. Right. So if you're on... By the time they get to you. By the time they get to me. If you're on metformin, if you're on uh, a beta blocker for blood pressure or pulse, and if you're on uh, a statin or any of those, you are depleted. They use up your CoQ10, which is an enzyme that you need in your liver to process your food. So So you would need a CoQ10 supplement. Supplement. If you take a statin, if you take a- metformin, or <laughs> um, or a metoprolol, or a, a be- any kind of beta blocker, they have all kinds of names. You'd have to look and see if it's a beta blocker or not for blood pressure. Right. If it slows your pulse, it's a beta blocker. So that, and then B12, you need extra B12 if you take metformin. And that's really important because B12 is a neurologic vitamin. B12, if you don't have enough B12, it comes from... Deep green vegetables, but mostly from meat. If you don't eat meat, if you you know, if you take metformin, you're using up this vitamin, and then you can get numbness in your hands. You can you can I've had people come in and say, I think I have MS, I've got all the symptoms, yeah. and I've been my doctor thinks I have it, and I'm going for the testing. Google machine told me. Yeah. Yeah. And and then I talk to them about their diet and they're not eating any meat because they think it's healthier and they don't take B twelve and or they're on a or they're on a beta blocker, and I'm like so let's give you first a shot of B12 just to give you a big dose and then put you on B12 daily. And I usually do sublingual because as you get older, you don't absorb as much B12 as you used to through your stomach. Okay. So I have it absorbed through the under the tongue. So I give them B12 after the shot and they come, I'm cured. It's a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's supplements are more important than you would can possibly imagine. That's what I'm learning. And, and it's important. And if I, I tell somebody to take that, there's a reason I'm telling them. I don't go, oh, just take 25 things. I'm looking at their medicines. I'm looking at their problems. I'm looking at their so, history and how they eat. I know all that stuff. But, Kathy, the, uh, another difference between your practice and many practices is that you have the opportunity to take the time to explain that. If I go somewhere else, and they say, here's a prescription, take it. I go to the drugstore, and they hand me the, the package of whatever mm-hmm. that, that you told me to get, even if it's non-prescription. Mm-hmm. And, it, and it comes with some big piece of paper, tiny, tiny little print with all these explanations on it that I never read. And they say, well, do you have any questions for the pharmacist? I'm like, no, my doctor told me to take it. So I don't know, and I don't understand. Uh, why and what does what? Exactly. So I, I think there's value I in the way that That's why you, we're talking about it. Yes. We're talking about it because it, there's value in the way I t- tell my patients. Now, and I'm not saying that they remember everything I say, but I give them a list of the supplements I want them on, and I write down why. Yeah. So it's not like it's a mystery. Yeah. You know, why they particularly need this supplement. Well, and, and not even you, but your nurse practitioners. Yeah, I, 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 I know. was out there the other day for, for my pellet Pellets. treatment, mm-hmm. and the nurse that I was seeing had this conversation with me about what supplements are you mm-hmm. taking and what and what vitamins are you taking. Mm-hmm. And she wrote down a list and she said, these are the ones you need every day to put in your little thingy. Mm-hmm. And and then she asked me, is there anything else that Dr. Maupin has told you that you need to be taking? So I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> so that's all I'm going to tell you. I'll put it on your chart. So yeah, <laughs> I'll sneak around you. I'll smart me, right. So, so most people have fluoride in their water. I guess there's some places in America that don't have fluoride in their water. This is a governmental mm-hmm. kind of thing. They sold us this bill of goods that we needed fluoride because we didn't want to have cavities. Well, great. We brush our teeth with fluoride. We really don't need to drink it. Drinking fluoride takes the iodine out of the water. If there was iodine in the water, it it replaces the iodine. So thyroid disease is skyrocketing because we don't have any iodine in our in our groundwater, you know, and it's processed with fluoride soap. So why do we not have iodine in our groundwater? We're well, not growing in, the... in the Midwest, we don't have it anyway. Okay. Because the glaciers scraped off that part of our, our ground, 
and took it up to Canada. But we don't, we don't have, in the Midwest, there's no iodine in the groundwater or in the ground. So our food and our water don't have iodine, so we have to supplement iodine. So I usually supplement most of my patients with iodine. Uh, Iodorol is the like one product that is available, and you start it with half of a 12.5, and you can go up to 12.5 to stimulate your thyroid. You can right. go up to two of them. But, I mean, some people need more. Right. That would not be something you'd do without a doctor's recommendation. But So so what if I'm on a special kind of diet? Like I have some friends right now that are raving about the keto diet. Mm-hmm. So they're on the keto diet. Which is just protein. It's protein and fat. And fat very few vegetables, very fruit, fruit no, no carbs, carbohydrates. No carbs, yeah. So, so when you're on a diet and you're doing something drastic like that, and I, I, I like the keto diet, but I think that... I think it works because it gives people muscle and they actually decrease their insulin resistance. So, so pre-diabetics get better. Right. However, the keto diet has no B vitamins. It has no enzymes. It ha- I mean, you have to take a multivitamin. You need to take extra B. You need to take extra C. There's no fruit. Fruit, C is in fruit. You need to take D unless you're outside every day. Um, those are... That kind of diet requires that you replace everything that you normally would get in a re- in a regular diet with fruit, vegetables, and carbs. I mean, all car- all breads have B's in them. I mean, B vitamins in them. Right. So those are things that you need to think about when you take on a diet. And there's the other um, what other diet? Oh, and then and vegans require B12 because they don't eat meat. And there are some vegan vitamins that are essential amino acids, the kind that you can't you can't make in your body. So you have to eat them, and they're in meat and cheese and eggs and all those kind of things. So you need to eat a vegan supplement that gives you those amino acids. So what about these national diet programs like Jenny Craig or Weight Watchers or things like that? When you do you know when you go on those? Do they provide supplements, or they if they sell you the food packages, buy not food all of them do the vitamins, but most, most encourage those. taking their vitamins with it. Right. I don't know. I, I haven't reviewed those. The specifics of either one. But I usually mm-hmm. just ask my patients to make sure that they've got everything that our our multivitamin has. Okay. All right. So that's that's a, that's a very important. If you're on a diet, you need to make sure you're making up for what you're not eating. Oh. Here's another point, and looking at our notes, you talk about people that have gastric bypass uh, yeah. surgeries. Mm-hmm. What happens there? What they It usually makes, so the bypass basically is bypassing your, it's making your stomach smaller and bypassing some of the small intestine, so you're not absorbing all of your vitamins. All right. And it makes you have, usually it makes you have kind of a diarrhea state, so things just go right through you. Right. So... You have to take sublingual or under-the-tongue vitamins or liquid vitamins that get absorbed in your mouth or in your esophagus and, and part, that small part of your stomach that's left. You have a hard time absorbing oral foods and oral vitamins, so you have to take these special vitamins. It's almost like having an anti-rejection drug. If, if you have an, an organ change, mm-hmm. uh, if you have that procedure and your stomach is that much smaller, mm-hmm. the system is faster, you don't absorb as yeah. much, so you have to have supplements that don't get absorbed in the that intestine. Don't get absorbed in the- so you have to have, and even like thyroid medication hardly ever gets absorbed in somebody with a gastric bypass because it has to be absorbed in several places: stomach, small intestine, middle of the small intestine, and it can't go through too fast. Well, and that's why you say if you take thyroid medicine, take it and wait 15 minutes before you take anything else. Right, it gets destroyed in normal stomachs, but if you don't have much of a stomach, right. it might go right through and you wouldn't absorb that part. Okay. There's multiple places you absorb that medication. So you make the point that it takes a physician, a nurse practitioner, or a dietitian to review your medical history and determine what supplements you need. So you, you can't just go on the Google machine or, or watch this video and, and say, okay, I, here's a list. I write I've down seen it. the biggest disasters come in with 25 supplements. They don't know what they do. They just read they're right. good for you, and they aren't sure who they're good for, who they're not good for. That can be just as bad as not taking them. I mean, taking things that are bad for you, like some, some supplements cause you to bleed all the time. So you don't clot your blood. You think you had cancer or yeah. something? Yeah, so you'd have rectal bleeding or something like that yeah. or, or bladder bleeding or... 
I mean, or stomach bleeding because you can't clot your blood because you took too many supplements. And, I mean, and not all supplements are equal. Brand A, brand B, brand C uh -huh. of vitamin D. So you need to talk to a pharmacist or a physician to say right. which of these are consistent. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and we like the vitamin Ds that are oil-based. The vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin. If you look at it and it's a capsule and it's powder, it's not going to get absorbed as well as a as vitamin D in oil because that is, is going to help you absorb it. Okay. Now, vitamin D, I need that's, to make a comment on vitamin D. Vitamin D is not just a vitamin. It's not a, an enzyme. It's, it's actually a hormone. It's a hormone that builds bone. It builds collagen. It makes your hair grow. And it keeps you from getting cancer. I mean, and heart disease, actually. Yeah. So keeps you from getting plaque. So if there's any question about, I mean, if you live, if you live above, the, above Florida and you work, or you work inside, even in Florida, and you don't get out all the time, you probably need vitamin D. And, and we really need it up here at the 47th and a half parallel. So you, you 38. 38. Oh, 38. 38 excuse yeah, me. 47. 47th. Yeah, you're Minnesota. from Canada then. Um, you make the point that we should buy medical grade supplements. Right. Explain that. What, what do you mean by that? Medical, medical grade is sold by doctors. It's not necessarily more expensive, but it has passed the tests of um, absorption. And I mean, you can get supplements that you don't even absorb them. You just pay for them and they go right through. Right. Um, so it's past absorption. It's past the standards that medical doctors require. And we find that they're more effective. So that's what we have in our office for patients to take is medical grade. It's passed, it's passed the test mm -hmm. that it actually will do what it says it's going to do. So that's why we don't think it's Probably the best idea to just go on Amazon and buy a bunch of stuff that says right. it's the same thing. We don't we we don't recommend that because we don't think that everything is the same. I mean, we know it's not. Right. And there's a couple other supplements that aren't vitamins. We have a supplement called Endodrin, which is animal adrenal, just a tiny bit of animal, and it helps people with high cortisol. We give it to them, and it brings their cortisol down. And we have DIM, D-I-M, which is diendol methane, which is made out of cauliflower and broccoli. And it actually is a, is a substance that actually helps you decrease the belly fat and the estrogen you make out of your fat. Which you cannot get by eating a bushel basket full no, of, of broccoli. You, you can't, can't eat enough broccoli no, they, or cauliflower. They use those two vegetables. They cut off side chains like we do in, right. um, in yams. We cut off the side chains of, of the testosterone that's in a yam and... Then we've got testosterone. It's not the same as yams. Right. So you can't eat enough yams to get testosterone. <laughs> so hopefully in our conversation today, what you've been hearing is that the nutritional value that you are required to be alive, that's supposed to come from your foods, is not as good for us as it once was. And so we have to supplement our diets with appropriate nutritional values. Lots of different things, lots of different ranges. Important to have medical grade quality, important to talk to a, a dietitian, nurse practitioner, physician, pharmacist to find out which ones you need and get the right ones. Mm -hmm. But it does matter. It does make a difference. Please be aware. Thank you very much. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth. Find Brett Newcomb at brettnewcomb.com.